Human beings only need about 2,000 calories a day. But it's difficult to consume the right number of calories. And if we eat too many, we accumulate body fat. Accumulating body fat is like an old-fashioned piggy bank. It's easy to put the coins in, but really difficult to get them out again. Exercise burns up some calories, but not nearly as many as you think. And anyway, for many reasons in today's world, it's difficult to do exercise. The business religion is growth. Consider the food and drink business. In the industrialised West, the market for food and drink is saturated. In other words, almost everyone has enough to eat every day. Businesses can't grow by finding new people to sell to. This means there are only two business growth options, selling more and selling at a premium. For basic foodstuffs, like turnips, it's difficult to charge a premium. But processing foods often extracts expensive constituents, such as wheat germ, or adds cheaper constituents, such as trans fats, to give better margins. These new products are lifestyle marketed to offer convenience, ease of preparation and more. Because selling more is a business growth option, many food manufacturers and retailers increase portion sizes to achieve growth. When these larger portions are consumed, we're eating extra unneeded calories. The business growth provides more money for marketing products. And then there's government policy. Governments know that hungry people riot, so providing cheap, affordable food is sensible government policy. The cheaper the food, of course, the more we can afford to consume. Now consider parents. Many parents have no, or at most a vague, understanding of nutrition. Nutrition is really complex, more like rocket science than food science. Not many people really understand it. Parents do what humans have done all through evolution. They respond to children being hungry, empty or full. But they're unable to pay too much attention to which nutrients children are full of. When large portions are consumed, extra calories are consumed. But human beings only need about 2,000 calories a day. It's difficult to consume the right number of calories. We have created enormous global industries around sugar, dairy and salt. Centuries of improvements have made these ingredients cheap. Sugar and salt are added to make foods and drinks tasty and palatable. They help with shelf life and give better margins. We like sweet food. Sweetness evolved as a nice thing to reward us for finding highly calorific food. So it's no surprise that children's first choice is to go for the sweet stuff. But this first choice isn't good. The food might taste delicious, but refined sugar has no nutritional value. It provides empty calories. Delicious foods like cakes and biscuits have a high fat content too. Fat contains lots of calories. Delicious soft drinks are blissful, but since your body doesn't seem to notice calories you drink, It can't warn you that you're overdoing it. If you give children the choice, their diets are likely to make them accumulate body fat. Remember that parents have no, or at most a vague, understanding of nutrition? It's also difficult for parents to consume the right number of calories. They also often consume too much salt. And poor intake of nutrients, minerals and fibre means that parents become dehydrated and suffer from energy lows. In most social situations, lethargy is unacceptable, especially at work. You're not supposed to fall asleep in meetings or at the dinner table. So parents consume stimulants such as caffeine in coffee, nicotine in cigarettes and taurine in energy drinks. Caffeine affects sleep patterns and can affect the way insulin works. Parents suffering from energy lows welcome the sugar rush from their choice of food. After a long day at work, parents don't always have much energy. This makes it really difficult to think about their children's diet, so they select foods that offer convenience and ease of preparation. They don't have enough energy to play with their children to make sure the children get some exercise. 
And anyway, exercise doesn't burn up nearly as many calories as we think. Children's diets are likely to make them accumulate fat. More and more children will become obese. The pattern contains many interlocking vicious circles. Remember, for every complex problem, there's an answer that is clear, simple and wrong. Did you work out how to break the pattern? <laughs>